Hello everyone, welcome back to the next lecture, Unit 1, Lesson 3. Uh, this will be similar to the last two, um, but this one we are going to convert between um, Imperial units and SI units, which um, Canadians may be more familiar with, like us. We are familiar with meters and kilometers, uh, centimeters, and not as familiar with miles. Uh, and feet and things like that. Um, so in the table that you have on your in your booklet, um, and you can see some of it on your screen, it's quite large, um, there are a bunch of different conversion factors. So for example, one meter is three and one quarter feet. Uh, one yard is 91.44 centimeters. So you won't have to remember this, but um, you will be able you will have to be able to refer to this table and use it um, But the conversions or the steps that we take are very very similar um, What we learned in lesson one still applies. It's always What we want the unit that we want on the top and the unit that we have that goes on the bottom um, So let's jump right into some questions um, conversion example. So a bowling lane is approximately 19 meters long. How long is the bowling lane to the nearest foot? So feet is an imperial unit and meters is an SI unit. Um, so we need to convert between them. Now if we go back up to our table, it'll tell us that one foot is equal to 0.3 meters. Okay. We could also use the conversion factor that it gives us uh, of um, one meter being 3.25 feet. Okay, We can use both of those. They might not give us the exact same answer due to rounding and us not using a whole bunch of decimals, but they'll give us a very similar, similar answer. So let's try both of them. Um, the first one, it wants us to convert, so nine meters and we use our conversion what we want what we have goes on the bottom and what we want goes on the top so we're going to use feet on the top and then let's use the first one okay to start so one foot is 0.3 meters that means I'm going to be taking 19 and dividing it by 0.3 so that equals approximately 63 feet so um, a bowling lane is approximately 63 feet long Let's try with our other conversion uh, factor and see what the difference is. So 19 meters, again, what we have goes on the bottom and what we want goes on top. So we're gonna use the second one this time, one meter equals 3.25 feet. So one meter equals 3.25 feet. So now we're gonna be multiplying 19 by 3.25. And if we do that, we get about 62 feet. So I said there's gonna be a little bit of a difference because of the, we're not using so many decimals, but we get almost the same answer and either one would be considered correct. Um, converting 19 meters to 63 or 62 feet using these values that you're gonna be given, either one is totally okay. Um, let's go to the next example, as you can see, uh, we've got LeBron James and Kyle Lowry meeting at the uh, for coffee at the Canadian US border near Emerson you know that's what they decided uh, when they leave LeBron drives 62 miles south towards Grand Forks and Kyle drives 89 kilometers north towards Winnipeg who drove further so we're gonna be converting them. they're in different units so what we need to do is convert them into the same unit so that we can compare the two, because right now we can't compare them. So, um, let's convert it into kilometers, something that we are all more familiar with. So we don't need to do anything with Kyle Lowry's distance. Um, so Lowry, 89 kilometers. Now, LeBron, let's see. He drove 62 miles, and we're going to use our conversion factors. What we have goes on the bottom, what we want goes on the top, and you can look back 
uh, in your booklet to see, check it out. Let's see here, I guess it's just above. Um, what are we gonna use? One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. Let's do that, it's on the bottom left of that table. One mile equals 1.6 kilometers. So I'm gonna be multiplying 62 by 1.6. So I'll get 62 times 1.6, it's approximately 99 kilometers. Right, that makes sense. Like we know that 60 miles an hour is like 100 kilometers an hour, so um, 60 to 99. It's approximately correct. Um, 99 is greater than 89, if you weren't aware. So that means that um, LeBron drove further. We had to convert them into the same unit to be able to compare them. When they weren't the same unit, we weren't, we weren't able to compare them at all. Uh, it's hard to know which is farther unless you are very, very bright. Let's go to the next example here. Carl. Carl is five foot eleven. Sorry about the line in the in the middle there. It just happens with the photocopy here sometimes. Uh, and then I scanned this. So um, Carl is five foot eleven and he moved from the United States to Manitoba. He wanted to apply for his driver's license. And driver's licenses, they list the height in centimeters. Um, what is the height? of Carl to the nearest centimeter. So we've got a um, unit, it's mixed, it's feet and inches. So the first thing we need to do is combine that into um, one unit so that we can then convert that into centimeters. So let's convert it all into inches. So five feet, 11 inches, if we go back to our first uh, lesson, we need, to, we would, um, you can go over how to do this, but we would take five feet, and we would convert it into inches. What we have on the bottom, what we want on the top. We know that there's 12 inches in one foot. Therefore, five feet is 60 inches. And then we add the 11 inches to get 71 inches total. So Carl, 71 inches total. Um, but we wanna know how many uh, centimeters that is. So we're going to take that 71 inches. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use our conversion factors. Okay. But this time, instead of going back to lesson one, we're going to use the table that you got today. So inches goes in the bottom, centimeters goes in the top. We would check. Okay, there is in one inch there is 2.54 centimeters. So that means that we are going to multiply 71 by 2.54 to get. 180 centimeters. You could do this a different way. Um, you could convert the five feet into centimeters, the 11 inches into centimeters and add them up. Um, two different conversions uh, instead of one, but that would work as well. So Carl is 180 centimeters tall. Next example, a truck driver knows that his load is 15 feet wide. Provincial regulations state that any load over 4.3 meters must have a wide load marker and an escort with flashing lights. What we need to find out is if this vehicle needs wide load markers. So we need to convert 15 feet into meters and then find out if that exceeds 4.3. Let's do that here. So we take, sorry about that. We take 15 feet and we are going to convert it into meters. Feet on the bottom, meters on the top. You can check your conversions. I'm gonna use that the, uh, the fact that there is 0.3 meters in one foot, conversion from the previous page. Uh, that will get us 4.5 meters. Now, 4.5, is greater than 4.3. Therefore, uh, the truck needs wide load markers. Because it is in the same units, larger than the requirement. Um, 
go on to, oh, there's a try it on your own next. So the two next two questions um, I'd like you to do on your own. Um, and then, um, so pause the video, and then when you're done trying them, play. And then you can see me complete them, uh, and you can see if you're doing it correctly. I believe these are the last two questions for the lesson. So pause it here, and then you can see the answers. Okay, so uh, the speed limit in North Dakota is 70 miles per hour. The speed limit in Manitoba is 110 kilometers per hour. Which speed limit is actually higher? So we need to take uh, one of them and convert it into the other so that they are the same so we can compare them, just like we did with LeBron and with Kyle. Uh, so let's take the 70 miles. per hour, and let's convert that into kilometers per hour. So we are still going to have a conversion factor, and we have miles that we, on the top that we want to get rid of, and we want to go into kilometers. If we think about it, we are going to be able to cancel the miles units and be left with kilometers per hour. So we need to know how many kilometers there are in one mile. We did that previously. In one mile, there's 1.16 kilometers. So I'm multiplying 70 by 1.6 to get 112 kilometers per hour. Now, if the speed limit in Manitoba is 110 kilometers per hour, that means that uh, the United States or North Dakota has a higher speed limit. North Dakota has a higher speed limit. And it really does feel like that when you're when you're there. People go faster. Um, the next one. So the distance between bases on a baseball field is 90 feet. What is the distance between bases to the nearest meter? So this is just a simple conversion from feet to meters, and we want to round uh, so that we have no decimal places. That's what it means by the nearest meter. So we're going to take 90 feet. We're going to use our conversion factor. Feet goes on the bottom. It's asking us for meters on the top. We know that in a single foot, we have 0.3 meters. You can use our other conversion factor if you want. It will get you a very similar number, but they'll probably be off by just a little bit. Both will be considered valid. So 90 times 0.3 gives us 27, approximately 27 meters. So the bases are approximately 27 meters apart. 90 feet are 27 meters. Um, that's it for this lesson. Uh, definitely let me know if you have any questions. You can post in the comments. Uh, have a good one.